Hello, welcome to the special edition of Spirit Cocktails. Because today we're not doing a cocktail, we're not doing a product review of something you find on the shelf. But this is actually a, a review of my homebrew, my very first completely original homebrew. This is actually a stout. I call it the Mocha Latte Stout. Reason being because it has chocolate and coffee malt. So you have mocha, you have your latte, your coffee. But I also want to add a little bit of a spice aroma to it, help bring that benefits of the chocolate out so I have a slight citrus flavor to it so we use different type of hops use the Chinook so that's the bittering hop used but it's not a real high IBU and they use the Mount Hood for a little bit of flavoring at the end which is a very clean crisp flavor now for the malts we use some chocolate malt obviously and the coffee malt the chocolate's like a 300 SRM so it's definitely going to give it a lot of dark colors for the malt for his stouts and everything, but he also has some carapils to help keep that head retention, a lot of the thickness that you usually get with the stouts. So basically, it will, it will help retain its body over time. Also, use caramel 120 because the caramel 120 it's a darker colored malt. It adds a lot of that caramel flavor to it, a lot of unfermentable sugars to also benefit that thickness of the stout. And then we also use a dark liquid extract and a amber liquid. Basically, to keep it so it wasn't too dark, not too light, it was just right, but also had a lot of smoky aromas to it. Because if you have a coffee, you want to have a coffee aroma, so you want to have that smokiness. But it's a subtle chocolate flavor to it. Now, this is American style uh, stout that I made, so it's within the parameters of it. You also use a Safe Ale US05, because Safe Ale US05, it gives it a lot of that American characteristics. But it's also fairly dark. I forget the top of my head what my SRM was. I believe it was about 39 SRM or 29 at the minimum. So it definitely had a little bit of darkness to it. The IBUs was fairly low. I think it was only like 30 some. So I didn't want to make this a bitter stout. I just want to make a very enjoyable stout with a little bit of bitterness to help accentuate the, the chocolate flavor. Now let's show you exactly what this looks like and also what it tastes like. The only thing also, this is actually conditions right in the bottle. I don't use kegging. I would love to use kegging because it lasts longer and you don't have to wait three weeks to get this thing. This took a while. This is like a six-week marker. I mentioned way over a month ago that I was going to do this. And now we finally can do it. See, it has a nice dark color to it. Pretty good head. And it has a nice head retention as you can see and it's also very dark. Really can't see through it, which is one of the good things you want to have with a stout. You want to like the fact that it does have all those non-fermentables. This head, it's staying for a while. It's not just dissipating like you would see with a, I don't know, like a Budweiser or a Miller or just like a basic beer. It does go over time, but it does last. Let's see how it tastes. Actually, it does have a good chocolate aroma, which I like. Mm. You can taste the, the bittersweet chocolate, because it doesn't really use real chocolate, because I was debating if I want to actually add chocolate extract at the, at the end to help bring that flavor of real chocolate. But the idea is you're using a bittersweet chocolate with a lot more sweetness from the, uh, the non-fermentables and the, the hops help bring some of the characteristics of the chocolate out. You're definitely getting a good smoky flavor like you'll get with any coffee. It's really smooth. It's not like real thick like your really heavy stouts but definitely has a little bit of thickness to it. I can actually change that around maybe just by adding some more malts there or some more non-fermentables or even adding something like uh, oatmeal stout because add the oatmeal for it, that's definitely going to make this a lot thicker. Mm. Now if you ever did a homebrew, it's very fun and as you can see it's very rewarding. This tastes like a beer that basically you can buy in the store. It's very clean flavor to it. It's not 
because you hear a lot of people who, when they make their beer and they design it completely themselves from scratch, it comes out like shit. This is actually really good. This is completely my own recipe, my own idea. This is the first recipe, so it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's very good, but it's only going to get better. Now, if you guys ever do homebrew, if you ever have any good recipes, let me know. I'll put the recipe below in case you guys want to make this. It's an extract brew. I don't mind sharing this recipe. And if you want to know more detail, you can always ask me as far as, like, when I want to put in the aroma hops like what's a better time frame to do it if uh, you want to add stuff like irish moss because this does have irish moss to help keep it more of a clear color but it's really it's dark you don't really need irish moss in the dark beer because you can't see through it anyways so it's kind of pointless but it's a very crisp clean flavor mm. it's really good and i had to get some of these big old 22 ounce bottles this is almost a 22 ounce cup. It's a big ass cup. So I can pretty much put the whole thing in there and drink it all just down it. But you're guaranteed if you make this recipe, you would love it. If you want to modify, if you want to do what I originally was planning, if you really want to get that coffee flavor in the end, add some coffee extract basically around about the time you're doing your bottling. Because that's basically the best time to add your different flavorings. So it keeps the full amount of that if you want to up your IBUs if you want to add like oatmeal to it whatever you want to do just make it a little bit thicker but keep the basis of the cocktail or the beer the same it's a very good beer and these are perfect hops I mean Chinook it's really clean flavor it just has a kind of a piney spicy flavor to it which is what I like about this it's very mild citrus Man, and that Mount Hood, that is really clean flavor. It's really good. You'll love this. But I hope you enjoyed this review. And I know it's a little bit off our original, what we do, because we know we do cocktails and I basically do spirit reviews. Well, why not do a review of my own homemade beer? It's perfect. I've never done a review on it, so I figured I want to do one. And right now, I also have a black IPA, which I'm calling the Midnight Run black ipa that i'm really excited to see what that comes out like it's the first ipa i ever made i'm trying dry hopping problem with dry hop also is unless you cold crash it or if you filter it or whatever to help get the particulates of the, the hops out of there you're going to have some sediment of the hops but it's not going to kill you it'll just add to the flavor but it's, figure that one's going to be around 50 ibu so it's going to be fairly high it's Definitely have blacks. I probably made about 45 SRM. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's going to be very flavorful. It doesn't have a lot of non-fermentables because I don't want it to be thick. It's not a stout. It's an IPA. So you're going to get a lot of that bitter, smoky flavor. But it's also using something called Midnight Wheat. So it's not a real strong bitter flavor. Because you want to take away from what the Warrior Hops and everything else I put in there is going to be. But this, you'll love this. And if you ever decide to brew it, if you're a home brewer, let me know. Try this out. And if you do, comment below. Any pointers? Because this is the first time I made this. I'm wanting to make it again, but maybe slightly different. I might do the actual chocolate at the end, maybe add some oatmeal. That's one thing I'm actually thinking about. But you'll love this. It's good. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like us on Facebook, Concepts Beer Cocktails, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to donate. To our Patreon account, submit your recipes, you'll find the link below. But as always, drink responsibly.